Once upon a time, in a small village, there lived a little girl named Meg. She was known throughout the community as the sweetest, most innocent and loving child anyone could ever meet. Meg's parents were poor farmers who worked tirelessly to provide for their family. But despite their struggles, they always held on to their faith in God. One summer day, as the village was hit by an unprecedented drought, Meg's family found themselves struggling even more than usual. The crops had wilted away, leaving them with no food to eat and no crops left to sell. One day, as she knelt down to pray, young Meg asked God to bring rain to her village. She prayed not just for her own family but for everyone else in her village who was struggling because of the drought. Days went by and still there was no sign of rain. But Meg never lost hope. Every day she would pray with unwavering faith. And eventually people in the village came to know about the little girl's prayers for rain. One night, as Meg was asleep, a great storm brewed over the village. Lightning lit up the sky, thunder clapped like roaring tigers and heavy rains poured from the stony black clouds above. All of the villagers started waking up, startled due to such severe weather conditions. But Meg just continued sleeping peacefully. The next morning when Meg woke up, she ran out into the farm fields with joy in her heart. What she found left her speechless. All around her were crops that had sprung up overnight thanks to the abundant rains that had blessed the village overnight. None of the other villagers adjacent to them had received any rain, which made it even more special. Needless to say, Meg's family and all those living in the village soon understood that it was none other than lovely features of Meg through which they had been blessed with this miracle. Her prayer had been heard and answered. From that day on, people from nearby places also started coming to see this amazing, beautiful girl whose prayers could bring heavy rains and grow crops. It is said that when the sweet voice of an innocent soul reaches all-knowing divine ears, he can't refuse to bless us with his divine grace. Innocence and straightforwardness are important aspects of prayer that are emphasized in the Bible. In Matthew chapter 18, verses 3 to 4, Jesus teaches us that truly, I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. This passage highlights the importance of having a childlike innocence in faith and trusting in God. Children possess a sense of trust and simplicity in their prayers that often adults lack due to cynicism, doubt or pride. Furthermore, in Luke chapter 18 verse 17, Jesus says, Truly I tell you, anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. This passage again highlights the importance of having a childlike attitude towards our faith. Prayer is about asking for guidance and blessing from our Heavenly Father. As we approach Him with childlike innocence and sincere hearts, we open ourselves up to His love and grace. Psalm 55 verse 17 also states that evening and morning and at noon I will pray and cry aloud and He shall hear my voice. Honest prayers offered with a pure heart do not go unheard. Adding to that, James chapter 5 verse 16 encourages believers to confess their faults to one another so that they may be healed. When we add frankness to this mix, offering up our genuine, sincere thoughts, it creates an atmosphere that heals us both inside and out, therefore strengthening our relationship with God. We can learn from these passages in the Bible that having a childlike innocence helps us to keep our faith pure, simple before God. Honesty creates an intense vulnerability while being made perfect through Christ's redemptive sacrifice on Calvary 
only proves how important innocent and truthful prayers can be. When we pray, we are communicating with God and our hearts should be focused on Him alone. In Psalm 66 verse 18 it says, If I had cherished sin in my heart, the Lord would not have listened. This highlights that if our hearts are not pure before God, our prayers will not be effective. Sin hinders our relationship with God and our prayers will lack power when there is sin in our hearts. Additionally, Matthew 5 verse 8 says, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. This passage emphasizes that those whose hearts are pure will have clarity and revelation when they approach God through prayer. Therefore, if one's heart is not pure and sincere in their devotion to God, then their prayers may not be answered with the same level of intensity as someone approaching Him with a clear conscience. However, having a pure heart doesn't necessarily mean being perfect. Rather, it means honestly confessing our sins and asking God for forgiveness. 1 John chapter 1 verse 9. It also means seeking to align ourselves with the will of God while praying. 1 John chapter 5 verse 14. In conclusion, the purity of one's heart plays an essential role in the effectiveness of prayer. Approaching God with a sincere desire for forgiveness and devotion gives rise to powerful prayers. A clean conscience produces much more integrity in faith, ultimately yielding strength unparalleled in other quarters, allowing us to access supernatural assistance. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you today asking that you would cleanse our hearts of all impurities, for we know that only those with pure hearts can communicate openly and honestly with you. Lord God, create in us clean hearts and renew a right spirit within us. Help us to put away all malice, deceit, hypocrisy, envy, slander. Give us the strength we need to resist temptation and our fleshly desires. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen.